Okay, fridge five part two. Got the table saw out and used the deconstructed pallets to start cutting up the wood for the internal pieces of the hive. Cut up one of the longer strips to be our center strip there. Just securing it with screws and we'll need to figure out how we want to ventilate the hive. Likely I'm going to do one inch holes covered with mesh screen, probably spaced approximately six inches apart down that center strip. We cut up the side walls for the hive and they're about 40 centimeters in length for both sides. Right now I've just been laying them out to get a look at what it's going to look like and how they're going to sit. Things we still got to do, I'm going to have to cut a few of them in, in spots to make it flush, especially over by the nuke and on the end that you can't see here. Uh, and then once I get those things figured out, I can worry about securing them down and, and screwing them into the, to the walls. Uh, we also worked on the nuke a little bit to clean up the edge and make it a, a more of a flush cut. Um, just kind of sketched out a little bit what I'm going to have to cut out of the nuke for where it transitions from the five frame nuke to the top bar hive. So far though, everything is coming along pretty good. I added that little knob to the top of my nuke there too so I can take the top off fairly easy while I'm wearing gloves and put it back on. The other things I got to figure out here are the entrances. So the question is, do I want the entrance here on this front or do I want it on the other side? Right now I'm leaning more towards the, the bottom or the front there. The, this hive will be left at high altitude. There's a good chance that it could get a lot of snow and so having a little bit of an awning could be good for breathability. I want to put a window here on this side so I'll get a piece of glass so that I can trace that out and see what it'll look like. But overall, I think things are going really well. Next steps will be adding top bars across the top, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.